Did our colleagues treat you well? Hmm. The conversations weren't much different than the conversations here. I mean, cocaine was a constant topic. There's a huge amount of money to be made for criminals, and there's very little hope that it will ever come to an end. In Latin America, cocaine is like, like some mythical creature. And, and actually, no one was still able to explain to me what coke really is. I mean, can, can, you, can you tell me? what that coke really is, besides being a horrible crime? <laughs> Let's start from the beginning. It's a shrub, two or three meters high, blooms innocently with bright green leaves, which when dry, contain alkaloid, a colorless crystal powder that influences the central nervous system. Millions of people, and I'm referring to indigenous people from Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, Brazil, and also here in Colombia, are chewing cocaine leaves for centuries. You see, we have a very early and high mortality rate. Now, let me get to your question. 50% of people in Colombia are very poor. And that, my friend, means 18 millions of hungry people, which makes 6 million hungry children. And what do they care where that cocaine goes? or if some rich Americans or Europeans are poisoning themselves. I mean, does America or Europe care about them? In my army, soldiers come from that background, where cocaine is the only means of survival. And now they have to turn against their own people? Every armed man I have has at least five or six people close to him who harvest and sell cocaine. You get it? Yes. So you bring us here to fight those poor people of yours. You're not the first person who comes here to help us. But you're definitely the first one who I can be open with. And I hope that doesn't make me betray my, my family or my position. You see, we don't have incentives to do our job. Did I disappoint you? No. Absolutely not. And thanks for confining it me. But I must tell you, I have no talent nor desire to get involved in politics. I'm just a soldier, nothing more. The only thing I'm, I'm feeling strongly about is I have the deepest contempt for violence. Maybe it's uh, plain crazy then, how can I be a soldier? <laughs> But we can talk about that some other time. Listen, now, the only thing I really want to know, when we're flying to Bogota. We have our plane ready. You want to grab something for lunch before we go? Only if there's no food left in Bogota. Come on, man. I really want to see Jimena. I have reserved us a table in the best restaurant in Bogota. And plenty of my friends are waiting. And they're dying to meet you. But you must bring Jimena. Let's go. Get on that plane. Here you are. Well, at least your father calmed down. You have to calm down too, my darling. He calmed down when I threatened to kill myself if he doesn't approve of our relationship. You're not going to take this threat seriously. Tu tampoco, abuelo. Jimena, your father is a widower. 
you are the essence of youth. He's terrified. He sees you falling in love. Come on. He's scared to death. He's scared to death. He's going to end up alone like me. I'm a widower, huh? Loneliness. That's the name of my new wife. You should go get ready. Carrera will be here to pick us up very soon. You have really let me down, you two cruel men. Abuelo, no one in this household trusts me. And you don't even stand up for me. What kind of future awaits me with you? You're talking about a future with me? Then I, we should both kill ourselves now. So, Tony, you're, uh, you're not so talkative. You know, it's difficult. We, uh, we hardly know anything about you, you know? I don't even know if Tony is your real name. Is Tony your real name? Jimena knows everything about me. And my name is almost my real name, uh, Tony or Ante, Antonio. It's the same thing. Sir, I'm a professional soldier, and I'm here at the service of your government. Otherwise, I'm in the French Foreign Legion, and that's a piece of information that I don't like to share with everyone. Strength. I can't believe you, you told me this. Did she talk to you about me? Did you know that I, I enlisted? as a soldier in the Legion yes, during the war. The French were our heroes. You know? the Galati, My father called me an idiot. What do you mean France and the war? The Legion. What the hell is that war gonna do with us? You're an idiot. <laughs> he was right. It isn't that amazing. Now France has come to rescue us. Huh? Finally. Finally. Yeah. In the shape of a Croat. <laughs> you like that information? That's from the aristocracy, you know. We have our secrets. Uh, Julia? It's fine, just not to say they're on their way. I can't believe that. I'm sitting here with a, a soldier from, 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 from the Legion. I mean, un rey soldat de Napoleon. Da ma famille. My father would kick the hell out of me for that. <laughs> hey, listen. It doesn't mean we can't sell a toast. Huh? Salute. Salute. see, my friend, how he's living with a woman. And everybody just admires her temperament, huh? <laughs> I, 
I'm so sorry. Uh, is there any other custom I should know about? I mean, wh 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 what am I supposed to do now? Just go after her, or should, should I should I just slap her in front of everybody, or or, or ap apologize to her? Or... ¿Está la jovencita en casa? Sí, señor. ¿Dónde está? Come down from that tree. You're, you're unbelievable. Come down from that tree. Come down now. No, 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 no. Me quedo aquí. I stay here forever if necessary. You're crazy. You're crazy. That branch is going to break and you're going to catch a cold. You will never come close to me. Can you dead to me? It's just rough to burn me. You're going to catch a cold. You never come close to me. You're gonna catch a cold and 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 then you're gonna be sick and dead. I don't care. Tell you, tell you, tell you. I'm telling you, come down from that tree now. No. Please, please, please come down from that tree. She'll catch a cold. Amanda, get down. Get down. Fuck that thing. She's been climbing the tree since she was a baby. And then she climbs all the way to the top. No te puedes imaginar como te odio. He would have left me to die in that tree. I could have frozen. Oh, come on. Now you're going to say that I'm the one who put you up on that tree in the first well, place. You did with your action. And I'm weak and sensitive and... And? I'm pregnant. <laughs> that... That's gonna throw her father. That, that, that's all he needs to hear now. My love, that's that's wonderful. I was afraid to tell you. I thought you were just a soldier. I thought, I thought you would not understand. I'd never react like that. I, I would I would carry that child for you myself if I could. 